So how are Democrats going to win back anything if they can't even agree on the state of their party? Let me ask Juan Williams, Fox News political analyst and a columnist for The Hill. Juan, there's nothing grassroots about the party that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was running, where they stacked the deck against Bernie Sanders and were all in on Hillary Clinton, a candidate who everybody, even Democrats, knew couldn't win. Well, so we have to define grassroots, because in American <laughs> politics today, there's so, so much anti-establishment type of populism, right? So everybody wants to be populist. Trump! Yeah. yeah. Trump! There you go. <laughs> Trump! <laughs> yes, indeed. Sorry. Right. Okay, so everybody wants that, because he's the winner. He's the president, right? But for the Democrats, you got to isolate it. And by isolating it, I think what you come down to is people who voted for President Obama who then switched and voted for President Trump. They're Democrats, often in key states. Wisconsin comes to mind. Uh, but, you know, you could also extend that to Michigan, North Carolina, Florida. Um, and you know what you find out? They're white, blue-collar folks. And the question is, if that's grassroots, Bernie is right. Because Bernie appealed to those voters. But Debbie Washman Schultz, again, what has she been imbibing since she stepped down from the DNC? Because that's not the, that's not the party that she was running, and that's not that's not how she viewed the voters out there. And mm -hmm. is Tom Perez any different than her in, well, I, the, in the role now? This is the question. I think this was what came up in the battle for chair of the DNC: is how do you go at it? You know, and, and are they really appealing to the grassroots now? The reason I said to you off the top, grassroots is how we define it, is guess what? There's a grassroots of the Democratic Party that's really more black, Latino, Asian, educated, whites, especially women, who are strongly anti-Trump and don't share the values of that blue-collar voter who switched from Obama to Trump. And so the question is, well, can the party expand its reach and stop dealing in what some people call identity politics, right? and start talking to that white, blue-collar Well, you got to get away. And, and Bernie Sanders really uh, pulled Hillary Clinton on board with the $15 minimum wage because he also, pulled her up. And TPP, remember trade deals? Bernie said no way. I get how the um, that trade position yeah. would resonate with people, but I don't understand how $15 minimum wage resonates with individuals who really just want, they don't want to make just $15 an hour. They want opportunity. Correct. They want safety. They want a, a long-term career. And I still think that, that that position on minimum wage is going to get them nowhere. Well, I remember, there's, as I said, it's broader than just that single element, which is so critical because obviously it swung the election to Trump. But people do want, I think, some social safety net, and I think a minimum wage that guarantees you what some would call a living wage is part of that. But how is the new DNC leadership with Keith Ellison in the deputy role, who is as left-wing as they come, that's not that's not reaching out to that Trump voter by any stretch of the imagination. Well, Although I don't know that about they, that, but like Perez, the Perez was Labor Secretary, and I think he understands the importance of jobs. And, I, you know, you look back, I don't know about you, but I would say, why didn't Hillary Clinton talk more about jobs? I think that really worked for Donald Trump. And with that key base that we're talking about that you, say, that you would identify as grassroots and I say is part of the but grassroots. Tom Perez, I think on his first day in the job or one of the first days, he's talking about the rigged election and how the Russians and, and, the, and Trump rigged the election. Well, and if you're singing that song this many months into President Trump's term, then you've got bigger problems. Do you think? I'm yeah. listening to you because I think that's really an interesting analysis. I'm, I'm just wondering talk if, about in fact, job, talk about much of the Democratic base is so angry over the Russia issue, still angry over the FBI. You know what? You know why Hillary lost, though? They're angry over their own personal financial situation, and they're angry over their health care. That's what they're angry about. I think, I think jobs, that's why I think jobs, if, we, if the Democrats, especially now that you got Perez there, former Labor Secretary, can start talking jobs, I think that will satisfy Bernie's 